Horde base, Fort Maze. It's another 10 minute Horde base build from Exotic Gaming. Starting off here, the red lines represent traps for the zombies and the blue lines represent the outer wall, while the black lines represent the inner structure of your horde base. Hopefully the colors of the blocks help make it easier for you guys to copy if you want to use this as a horde base. I'll talk through each specific point as I get to it and enjoy the build. As you can see, the outer walls are four high, and I would recommend that you build them with cobblestone as well, just to be safe. We want the zombies to path correctly towards the drawbridge that we are eventually going to build. And now we get started with the gatehouse. Use a powered drawbridge as your gate. gate done now we got to focus on this more complicated front area so build up the front with a wall that's three high and then leave the red area a little bit empty for now with that done this is what it should look like for right now and then you're going to want to get plates and you're going to want to inverse them together like so i'm only doing this on the sides to try to make the zombies flow in the middle more and it's more reliable that they will come into the base this way if we leave the middle solid like so. But if a huge horde does come, some of them will jump over these holes and fall down. And make sure the two outer pillars are floating as well. I like to place spikes in all these red areas, just in case the zombies fall and start running on the walls. At least they have something to deter them. And I left this blue simply so you have the option to do this how you want. You don't have to follow this exactly. As long as there's a way for them to get to the drawbridge, the base should work out. So if it's blue, feel like it's optional to do whatever you want with the walls and the inverse plates. Just in case. Place stairs behind the drawbridge, which will eventually lead to a gate. With that done, the zombies are going to cross on one column that you will stop right here. And then you're going to place one solid block wall up to four high. Extend the cobblestone out over the blue to your wall, like so. Now we're in the front. We're going to place ladders on the front wall we built. That's how the zombies are going to come to the drawbridge. And now I'm going to focus on, if you have a Jeep, this is how you would get up. It's completely optional, and it's for later builds. We're back inside the base, and let's build up some of these blue walls that I have outlined here. Place another column in the middle of this bridge, and we're going to start building up the inner part of the horde base. that done for now the inner wall is also four high currently and we need to take a look at how the outer walls are two spaces wide between each other so the inner part of the base is not going to be at ground level we're going to raise it up four high so we need to have support beams in the middle space like so this is what the base should look like right now 
and then we need to start building up the bottom part of the inner cord base. This is the portion of the base that will turn into the maze that you will use if the base becomes overrun. I move the paint to the upper level so that you can follow along. The black is still walls and the red is what you leave open and we're gonna place hatches along it. And I'll show how that's done. I'm continuing to build up the inner wall. Eventually, we're gonna be three high. Leave a space for the door as well. Next is the very inner walls for the maze and I built them too thick where possible simply so they don't escape. Eventually, you're gonna be walking along this hallway fighting for your life. So this is what we got. The back area to the right, you can pretty much use for your forge or your workshops or whatever. I'll leave that up to you. Now we're gonna start building up the hallway for the maze itself with hatches. When you get to the back of the maze, place two hatches upon each other, like so, into the inner sanctum of the horde base as your last defense, just in case. This leaves you the option to repair one and put the other down while you try to figure out what to do. I like to place my ladder up near the workshop door, and then place a hatch upon it and finish off the ceiling to the maze. Now back to the gatehouse. This should be pretty easy to follow along with. Just follow these columns that I'm building and then we're gonna extend this up over the gate itself. It fits the drawbridge pretty perfectly and eventually a wall will be placed between the drawbridge and when we open and lower it over the gate. Now we just finished up the top of the gatehouse and we need to build the generator for the drawbridge, which is powered. This is very important. A big part of the base is having the powered drawbridge so you can control the flow of zombies at the gate. Now we build the iron gate that will hold the zombies out once the drawbridge is pulled in or I guess up, just build it right in the center over the center column, walkway, and then build up a wall all the way to the ceiling. Here's what it should look like, and then fill the holes in like so with wood, so the zombies smash against them. If they pile up too high, they should fall off the wall. I put spikes there to help uh, encourage them to fall outside the inner wall. That done, I fortified the inner gatehouse area a little bit more by adding another layer of cobblestone and adding wood bars over this hole. So if zombies break through the gate and come at the maze, we can shoot them or throw grenades into the pit or what have you. Now we got to build a roof for the top of the gatehouse in case of bird attacks, which you can expand upon however you want. This is a simplistic approach to birds. Sure looks imposing, but what if the zombies fall? We should probably place the ladders coming up to the maze, otherwise they will attack the walls. And maybe you should add more as well later, depending on how you want to tackle this problem. Place the lever for the drawbridge. Gotta hook that up and then place some traps on these red lines on the outer wall. And the base should be ready to go. The base turned out pretty well. I'll be expanding upon it throughout time and testing it in Alpha 20 and whatnot. Let me know if you want to see it in action as well. I'll gladly test it out on a huge horde of the undead. Like the video if you want to see that and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.